Yo guys, Dudley here, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and for today's video, I got a DM from someone on Instagram recently, and I don't know if they were like trying to hype me up or whatever, but literally, this is what the message said, I'm gonna let y'all read that, so, so basically, I guess like, the person wants to know like, how do I save money, and I fell victim of like, spending money like stupid, stupidly, stupidly well <laughs> i've been guilty of spending money stupid last year so this year my new year's resolution is to actually in fact save more money other than the trip i have planned coming up in um april so we're gonna get into this and we have a quick little story time so if you want to keep on watching to learn how to save money like i do then let's go we need to think about this from like a rational standpoint like it's so easy to save money like it really is but i just like buying stuff like i literally just bought a package again today like I, I spend money unnecessarily before i was interrupted it is so easy to save money so here's a few tips you can do in the new year to just help you save a little extra cash and this is also like based off of like my job like because i'm a barista and i get tips and like like pay so keep on watching I think we're gonna get into the story time first so there are numerous times last year where I've been guilty of like just letting money go or like not have been asking for what was mine and like that's not gonna rock in 2020 like or from here on out like it's not gonna rock if you owe me something like trust me I'm getting what's mine but <laughs> we're gonna start from this year on well this week on <laughs> So, story time. Uh, I went to a bar, like, the beginning of February, and we had this friend who was meeting up with us, and she ordered, well, she, we was basically waiting to, like, save drinks for her until she got there, so me being the nice guy I am, I'm just like, alright, maybe if I buy her a drink for her, and, like, you know, when she gets here, she could get it. Like, I don't know where my logic was, but I'm just like, yeah, I'll buy her drinks for her, and she'll pay me back later four drinks later and she owes me forty dollars <laughs> so my thing is i should have been more like clear stern decisive like hey um you owe me this and i'm gonna just need you to sell me my cash but that's not the case for everyone the next instance i want to bring up is if you're ever going out with a friend and Say it's like five people going and like two of the people are in a relationship and then the bill comes and you're just like, oh, I got this person, let's split it four ways. That doesn't make sense because there's five people there. If anything, we're going to split it five ways and if you're paying, you're paying two portions of it. It should never be a situation where you're dividing it amongst like, like you're leaving the person who's in a relationship with one other person out of the situation. Like that doesn't make sense. So I have to start getting stern with like with that too or like bringing it up like actually counting before people like actually decide to pay the check or or, or the bill or whatever oh sorry i can't talk because this situation happens a lot so the next situation i literally tried to film this video earlier in the car too like i'll insert like footage if i forget something but the next point i wanted to bring up was oh cash so Paying cash back to someone is just like, if you going out with someone and you're like, we're paying all on one card and you have to pay me back, it is better if you send it through Zelle. Like, I don't want to accept any other forms of payments unless you have exact cash. Even then, it's just like, that's petty if like, you're send say the bill comes up to like, um, let's say 16 70 or something like that just send the person 17 dollars like it's not that deep for like 30 cents okay like i don't even know like what else to say it's not that deep okay it's not that deep just pay pay for it because like there's tax and everything too you know what i mean so okay my camera died so i had to like literally step off and like wait for the battery to charge a little bit but i edited the first part so i, I know exactly where to start off so <laughs> give me one sec okay so now moving into the actual like tips for saving so as a barista the breakdown of like um the pay is like it's the minimum wage plus your taxes 
I mean, well, it's the minimum wage plus your tips. And at my cafe, we get um, cash tips and car tips. So what I literally do is, like, I'll save the cash tips, like, all the way up until the end of the month. And then the cash tips is, like, what I'll try to use, if anything, and not touch anything in my account so that I'm putting, like, anything in my account is, like, being saved. If there was ever, like, a time that I needed to help pay a bill or something, like, that would be there for that emergency but just as a precaution like i just only touch the cash tip money that's a simple solution right there um not only that you could like invest in stocks and stuff too like i have shares with um uh a old coffee company of mine and those shares like literally tripled about since the time i started working there till the time i left so i literally have that money just like growing um interest well not interest but like its stock value is like growing so with that i like also take into account all right so whatever i sell from one share of this i could use it to also put towards me um, buying other shares for different companies that might end up um having a higher payout in the end like they'll be at like a low price now and it goes up or down like you have to keep an eye on stuff like that secondly opening a savings account it's not that hard trust me like i have my account set up where it'll take a certain amount for me every Friday. So like, if you really wanna save, like if you're if you're home, if you live at home with your family and they're not asking much of you just to like go to school and work like, like me or like some people, then just like literally save 60% of your check, okay? Cause you're not gonna be using the other money for nothing much. Just save 60% of your check, okay? Put that straight into the savings. If you get paid weekly, 60% weekly adds up. If you get paid bi-weekly, um, I would suggest doing, uh, I don't know. Bi-weekly is like challenging. Like I'm bi-weekly now, but I still manage to save like a decent amount. So literally it'll take it out every Friday. So make sure that you at least have enough to um, put into your account into your savings account from your check-in every Friday. And I also recommend getting a Citibank account. Like, that's what I use. It's lit. Like, everything is lit, okay? All right, moving on to the question about the Apple card. Now, when I first applied for the Apple card, they rejected me, and that was back in August, but my credit score is still the same as it was before. And making, I don't know, like, I don't know. I would say the Apple card is based off of your income. Cause like around that time, like my income was like a little, like a little short of what it is now. So literally once I updated it, I told them what the, what I was making now and boom, like I got accepted. But think about, keep this in mind. Like I have had credit for going on two years now and they want someone with a strong like credit history. So if you miss a payment, like you're a dub, if you like, only pay portions like they look into stuff like that me i pay my stuff off on time every time like i'll normally like pay my checking statement as soon as it like shows up or like my bank statement as soon as, as soon as it shows up in the Citibank app which is also great because it makes it easier for me to not lose money in terms of the apple card that is another situation in itself because i'm still learning how to use it and the card itself you get one percent back on purchases but if you use Apple Pay, you get 2% back. So the thought of like getting daily Apple Cash back is hard only because you're going to want to spend more to like try to accumulate more, which and that doesn't make sense. So all in all, I would say have a good credit presence, okay? I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys found these tips useful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends, your friends' friends, all of that good stuff. Like, comment, and then subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more time, yeah. Subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I won't stop until you subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's something new I'm trying, but subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>